We are here for each of you as you requested, as you request, the love that you receive, and the level of attendance you receive will always be in agreement, will always be in agreement to what will unfold before you, to what will unfold before you, what you can receive, what you can receive by saying yes it is so, by saying yes it is so, it will be so, it will be so. The denial of the divine takes many forms. The denial of the divine takes many forms, and most often in ways you don't understand, and most often in ways you don't understand. There is a great agreement. There is a great agreement between the source of all things, between the source of all things and its creations and its creations that are always known, that you are always known and not separate from it and not separate from it, but the deceit you hold, but the deceit you hold to the self, to the self and the source of all things and to the source of all things, I will be alone. I will be alone. I will be unknown. I will be unknown. I will not allow. I will not allow or no grace or no grace claims you in that agreement claims you in that agreement not to be attended to by the divine now to be attended to by the divine is to say yes to it is to say yes to it do you understand this phrase do you understand this phrase to be attended to by the divine to be attended to by the divine is to say yes to it is to say yes to it and the yes you are saying to it and the yes you are saying to it comes in two different ways comes in two different ways conscious intent conscious intent and active will and active will and receptivity and receptivity to the claim made to the claim made you may say yes to something you may say yes to something and then not act upon the yes and then not act upon the yes choose to deny choose to deny so the receptivity to the claim so the receptivity to the claim god is god is god is god is god is god is beyond announcing it as so beyond announcing it as so is the reception to it is the reception to it. Now each of you comes planned. Now each of you comes with a plan, comes with a plan of agreement for a lifetime, of agreement for a lifetime. Things you may choose to learn, things you may choose to learn and perhaps ways of learning them and perhaps ways of learning them. But all of these are ideas, but all of these are ideas that can be claimed, that can be claimed in a higher or different way, in a higher or different way. The choices many of you make, the choices many of you make to learn through pain, to learn through pain, to learn through fear, to learn through fear, which in most cases reinforces the divine, which in most cases reinforces the denial of the divine, subjects you to an idea, subjects you to an idea that you must be separate, that you must be separate, that God cannot be, that God cannot be where the painful thing is, where the painful thing is, where the wrong idea is, where the wrong idea is. But this is a limitation. But this is a limitation, a grand illusion, and a grand illusion. Illusion. Now, indeed, you come to learn. Now, indeed, you come to learn. Indeed, you have free will. Indeed, you have free will. And indeed, the world you see before you. And indeed, the world you see before you is actually creation, is actually creation, not of the individual self, not of the individual self, but of the collective agreement, but of the collective agreement to be in an octave with one another, to be in an octave with one another. In other words, in other words, it's not only you that makes things happen. It's not only you that makes things happen. It's your agreement to the whole. It's your agreement to the whole, to the day of the week, to the day of the week, to the year on the calendar, to the year on the calendar, or the time of day, or the time of day. Collective agreement to many things. Collective agreement to many things, inclusive ideas of right and wrong, inclusive of ideas of right and wrong, war and peace. War and peace may be claimed by the collective, may be claimed by the collective, but your subjective impressions of these things, but your subjective impressions of these things are independent, are independent. How one knows peace, how one knows peace, maybe how someone else knows war, may be how someone else knows war. Now, when we teach you, now when we teach you from what we call the upper room, from what we call the upper room, we're actually teaching you in different ways. We are actually teaching you in ways, in ways some of you have never encountered, some of you have never encountered. We ask you in some ways. We ask you in some ways to divest the meaning, to divest the meaning that things have been granted, that things have been granted or chosen to be known as, or chosen to be known as. For example, for example, what a terrible thing is, what a terrible thing is, what a wonderful thing may be, or what a wonderful thing may be. Again, these are subjective agreements. Again, these are subjective agreements born in what you would claim, born in what you would claim or agree to or agree to in most cases. In most cases through the historical data, through the historical data that you've adhered to, that you have adhered to when you move to the upper room. When you move to the upper room as a level of consciousness, as a level of consciousness, you are beyond blame. You are beyond blame. Do you hear this? 
Do you hear this? You do not blame from the upper room. You do not blame from the upper room. You understand accountability. You understand accountability, but you're not seeking vengeance. But you are not seeking vengeance, nor are you demanding to be seen as right, nor are you demanding to be seen as right. What you have accrued in the lower levels, what you have accrued in the lower levels, invested great meaning to, and invested great meaning to, may actually be obsolete, may actually be obsolete in the higher accord, in the higher accord that you may align to here that you may align to here to release the need to know what things have been to release to know, to release the need to know what things have been what things have been allows you to know what they may be allows you to know what they may be or may be known as or may be known as in a completely different strata you look at a page of a book you look at a page of a book and you think the whole book by the paragraph and you think you know the whole book by the paragraph or the page or the page you look at the book itself you look at the book itself and you see a volume bound and you see a volume bound not realizing it is one of many not realizing it is one of many infinite numbers, infinite numbers of books, of books that may comprise your experience of a lifetime, that may comprise your experience of a lifetime or many lives, or many lives if you prefer. If you prefer your subjective natures, your subjective natures will always call to the history you need, will always call to you the history you need to prove the point you wish, to prove the point you wish. It doesn't matter what the voice is. It doesn't matter what the point is, what the point is, you will manage to find a way. You will manage to find a way. Now, the denial of the divine. Now, the denial of the divine is what we must attend to, is what we must attend to. So you have a construct. So that you have a construct where you may look where you may look and find yourself within and find yourself within to find yourself in the construct, to find yourself within the construct of the divine, of the denial of the divine. You may know, you may know yourself. You may know yourself through what you have chosen, through what you have chosen to deny the divine in inclusive of those aspects of self, inclusive of those aspects of the self that you would operate in limitation, that you would operate in limitation or put in darkness or put in darkness, neither on your brother, to deny the divine in your brother simply means simply means you put him outside the light you put him outside the light who you put outside the light who you put outside the light calls you to that darkness calls you to that darkness you may have your unforgiveness you may have your unforgiveness you may choose to blame you may choose to blame you may benefit from what you learn there you may benefit from what you learn there but you will not be in the upper room but you will not be in the upper room you'll be cataloging your you will be cataloging error and looking for the errors and looking for the errors to file there to file there when we say to you when we say to you, we know who you are, we know who you are, some of us have been as you, some of us have been as you, have learned through folly, have learned through folly, through self-deceit, through self-deceit and through the disciplines, and through the disciplines that you might attach a spirituality to, that you might attach a spirituality to. Others of us, others of us have not known form, have not known form, have always been present, have always been present, and always will be present, and always will be present, but we comprehend but we comprehend the journey you're undergoing, the journey you are undergoing. There is nothing in creation. There is nothing in creation that is not evolving, that is not evolving. It is the point of being. It is the point of being. Even the idea of God, even the idea of God in its infinite state, in its infinite state, is misperceived as finite, is misperceived as finite and all-knowing means. And all-knowing means always knowing, always knowing, and continuing to know, and continuing continuing to know now to continue to know means now to continue to know means to continue yourself continue means to continue to realize yourself to realize the self the divine realizing self the divine realizing itself through you and your experience through you and your experience and your own investment and your own investment in realizing self in realizing self beyond the separation beyond the separation that you've endowed such power to, that you have endowed such power to. Some of you say to us, some of you say to us, grant me the kingdom, grant me the kingdom. And again, the kingdom is the one. And again, the kingdom is the realization of the divine in all manifestation, in all manifestation. Give me what I want, what I say to be. Give me what I want and what I say it should be. And you make these claims in fear. And you make these claims in fear because in most cases what you are affirming, because in most cases what you are affirming 
affirming as a sense of lack is a sense of lack. And you wish the divine to remedy that you wish the divine to remedy because there is no lack in the divine. Because there is no lack in the divine, the denial of God is present. The denial of God is present even in the asking, even in the asking, give me what I want. Give me what I want is a claim of self-deceit, is a claim of self-deceit in this way in this way. What does that mean, he asks? What does that mean, he asks? Well, you are confirming a God. Well, you are confirming a God that would withhold, that would withhold, that seeks a penance, that seeks penance or supplication or supplication. If I behave as I should, if I behave as I should, I won't be sent to bed. I won't be sent to bed without my supper, without my supper. If I am loved as God says he loves me, if I am loved as God says he loves me, as she loves me, as she loves me, as it may love, as it may love. I will have everything I want when I want it. I will have everything I want when I want it because you are in realization. Because you are in realization in the process of being, in the process of being in a new incarnation, in a new incarnation, and by this we simply mean, and by this we simply mean to be the manifest divine in form, to be the manifest divine in form in some ways decides, in some ways decides that the idea of self that you once had, that the idea of self that you once had is no longer present, is no longer present, and who has come instead, and who has come instead is the mystery revealed, is the mystery reveal the alchemical act, the alchemical act of the divine monad, of the divine or monad or monad in presence, in presence, the divine in presence, the divine in presence, which means in expression, which means in expression becomes the advocate, becomes the advocate, the emissary, the emissary, the doorway, the doorway to the divine, to the divine for all that it encounters, for all that it encounters, just as you become a lantern, just as you become a lantern that shines in the darkness, that shines in the darkness, what you encounter, what you encounter from the strata, from this strata becomes illumined, becomes illumined or seen in a new way, or seen in a new way, or realized anew, or realized anew, the claim we offer you today. The claim we offer you today, behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new, is the claim of the divine self, is the claim of the divine self in its expression in its expression from the upper room, from the upper room. It is a claim of translation. It is a claim of translation and illumination and illumination. There is no act involved on your behalf. There is no act involved on your behalf. You're not advocating for new. You are not advocating for the new, trying to fix something, trying to fix something, trying to level an old structure, trying to level an old structure so the new may be old, so that the new may be revealed. You are being the new. You are being the new. The new has come as you. The new has come as you. The divine self in articulation, the divine self in articulation manifests as you manifest as you is who speaks this claim is who speaks this clay behold i make all things new behold i make all things new through one's being through one's being it is the divine expressing it is the divine expressing its knowing it's knowing and the knowing that is exceeding and the knowing that is exceeding the old ideas of self, the old ideas of self, which must be inclusive, which must be inclusive of lack, of lack or the denial of the divine or the denial of the divine. If you understand what a light does, if you understand what a light does, it shines and brightens, it shines and brightens, it illumines what it encounters, it illumines what it encounters, not decide who sees the light, it does not decide who sees the light, the light is present for all those who may see, the light is present for all those who may see, for all those who may see, who become willing to be seen, who become willing to be seen, but as you become the light, but as you become the light, you become the manifest Manifestation, you become the manifestation of the gift of being, of the gift of being, and what the gift of being is, and what the gift of being is, the light, the light as incarnate, as incarnate for the benefit of others, for the benefit of others. You may underline this, friends. You may underline this, friend, the light incarnate, the light incarnate for the benefit of others, for the benefit of others. This is not a selfish teaching. This is not a selfish teaching. This is not the teaching of want. This is not the teaching of getting what you want, but the teaching of grace. But the teaching of grace is the teaching of receptivity, is the teaching of receptivity and of being and of being, because you know the source of all things, because you know the source of all things. You're not beseeching it. You are not beseeching it for what you should have, 
for what you should have in the ways you think you should have it, in the ways you think you should have it. You're not denying the divine. You are not denying the divine by saying it can never be so, by saying it can never be so, because that excludes God, because that excludes God, excludes God or the source of all things, or the source of all things from outcome, from outcome. Now, what you say you should have, now what you say you should have or believe you should be, or believe you should be is most likely, is most likely based on prior history, based in prior history. I should be successful in this or that way. I should be successful in this or that way, desired by a man or woman, desired by a man or a woman as others are, as others are in the ways they are, or in the ways they are. I should know who I am. I should know who I am through the reflection in the mirror, through the reflection in the mirror and judge what I see and judge what I see when it is not invested, when it is not invested, what I think I should be and what I think I should be based on others' opinions, based upon others' opinions. The realization, the realization of the true self as you, of the true self as you is an act of rearticulation, is an act of rearticulation. Now matter, now matter, as you understand matter, as you understand matter is the articulation of divine, is the articulation of the divine in dense form, in dense form. Everything is in resonance. Everything is in resonance, in flow, in flow, in field, in field, in one level of vibration or in one level of vibration or another. When you look to the upper room, when you lift to the upper room, you're not leaving, you are not leaving the world that you once knew, the world you once knew, you are lifting the self, you are lifting the self or being lifted by the monad or being lifted by the monad to a new level of resonance, to a new level of resonance, rearticulation at this level, rearticulation at this level indeed requires a release, indeed requires a release of what has been held in fear, of what has been held in fear, what you would exclude from life, what you would exclude from the light for to be the light for to be the light means you cannot exclude means you cannot exclude anything or anyone from it anything or anyone from it if you, from it if you wish this if you wish this not only is it available not only is it available you'll be supported in the passage you will be supported in the passage but the outcome will not be what you think but the outcome will not be what you think you will not know the outcome here you will not know the outcome here until it has come until it has come and even then it is unfolding and even then it is unfolding because the soul that is you because the soul that is you is continuing to accrue new learning. is it continuing to accrue new learning new learning new realization new realization through its ongoing unfoldment through its ongoing unfoldment when we teach through the man before you when we teach through the man before you we have his system to attend to we have his systems to attend to the body that he ignores the body that he ignores the heart that longs or yearns the heart that longs or yearns the idea of self the idea of self that in some ways gets disguised that in some ways gets that's disguised through an idea of self, through an idea of self that is no longer serving him, that is no longer serving him. He is as you. He is as you, and you are all as one, and you are all as one in the process you undergo, in the process you undergo. You do not race to a finish line here. You do not race to a finish line here. You begin to accept the aspects of self. You begin to accept the aspects of self that you have so denied, that you have so denied in order to bring them to light, in order to bring them to the light, or in offering, or in offering, or agreement to the divine, or in agreement to the divine without judgment or fear, without judgment or fear, so, be renowned, so that it may be renowned as it is renowned. As it is renown, it is relist, it, it is lifted, it is lifted, it is renown, it is renown in higher accord, in higher accord. Again, the example we used prior, again, the example we used prior, the view from the 25th floor, the view from the 25th floor is vastly different than the basement, is vastly different from the basement as you become accustomed, as you become accustomed to the view from the 20th floor, to the, from, to the view from the 25th floor, you begin to set up a life, you begin to set up a life that is independent of prior expression, that is independent of prior expression, what you thought should be or do, what you thought you should be or do, because you are being and doing, because you are being and doing from a higher level of knowing, from a higher level of knowing, which is true alignment, which is true alignment. Now you come to learn and form 
Now you come to learn in form, this is not a teaching, this is not a teaching in any way, shape or form, in any way, shape or form of denying your humanity, of denying your humanity. You chose the form you came in, you chose the form you came in, specifically what it give you, specifically for what it could give you. You have chosen the life you lived, you have chosen the life you lived to learn the lessons that could come to learn the lessons that could come, but to know the self, but to know the self beyond the disguises you've carried, beyond the disguises you have carried, the masks you have worn, the masks you have worn is to know that worn is to know the self, is to know the self beyond an identity, beyond an identity that is no longer categorized, that is no longer categorized in the ways that you would like to, in the ways that you would like to. I am a woman. I am a woman. I am a heterosexual or homosexual. I am a heterosexual or a homosexual. I am a female. I am a female. I am a child. I am a child. I am an old person. I am an old person. My skin is of this color. My skin is of this color or you or you or pigment or pigment. You understand the self. You understand the self as having these aspects of as having these aspects of self as of you, as of you, but your level of definition, but your level of definition transforms, transforms and transcends and transcends the ideas that may have accrued, that may have accrued beyond gender, beyond gender, beyond religion, beyond religion, beyond age, beyond age or ethnicity or ethnicity. You're not ignoring these things. You are not ignoring these things. They are things you learn through. They are things you learn through, but your new announcement, but your new announcement from the upper room, from the upper room, I have come, I have come, I have come, I have come, I have come. I have come and bless you, invest you with the authority, with the authority to be reclaimed, to be reclaimed or assumed or assumed by the monad, by the monad. To be assumed by the monad means, to be assumed by the monad means you have given permission, you have given permission to be received by it, to be received by it, any aspect of self and any aspect of self that would assume separation, that would assume separation, be it your age or gender, be it your age or gender, ethnicity or religion, ethnicity or religion is assumed as well, is assumed as well. Well, you become the light for all. You become the light for all, not just for what you call your community, not just for what you would call your community, your church, your church, those people who agree with you, those people who agree with you. That's a false teaching. That is a false teaching. You become the prophet. You become the prophet of the light of the light. And by prophet we mean, and by prophet we mean the one who claims the light, the one who claims the light and its benefit, and its benefit for the well-being of others, for the well-being of others. Now the transition that is undertaken now, the transition that is undertaken from the low strata to the high, from the low strata to the high differs depending on who you are, differs depending on who you are and what you came to learn and what you came to learn. And most importantly, and most importantly, how deeply you invested, how deeply you have invested in the denial of the divine, in the denial of the divine. God will not help me or cannot. God will not help me or cannot, may be claiming you, may be claiming you in fear. In fear, you don't understand. You don't understand that when the will is aligned, that when the will is aligned to the higher octave, to the higher octave, your ability to receive it, your ability to receive aid through your own knowing, through your own knowing, not through a whisper as Paul does, not through a whisper as Paul does, but the own consciousness, but the own consciousness of the use of user, of the user being being expressed fully, expressed fully and voice in a voice that is his or her own, that is his or her own, will show you the way forth, will show you the way forth at the cost of the old, at the cost of the old, to know the self, to know the self as of God, as of God is to know the self as worthy, is to know the self as worthy, to know the self as worthy, to know the self as worthy must be inclusive of all, must be inclusive of all. Do you hear these words? Do you hear Hear these words. This is not a teaching of specialness. This is not a teaching of specialness. You are not following a path. You are not following a path to shine upon others, to shine upon others, to gain attention, to gain attention, notoriety, notoriety or claim or a claim. You are shining upon others. You are shining upon others because you are lifting the world you encounter, because you are lifting the world you encounter to the upper room, to the upper room, through abiding there through abiding there, the one who expresses in the upper room, 
the one who expresses in the upper room is actually claiming all things, is actually claiming all things to itself, to itself. Now, if you understand that the upper room, now, if you understand that the upper room is a level of vibration, is a level of vibration that an aspect of you, that an aspect of you, which is the monad, which is the monad indwelling Christ, indwelling Christ, if you prefer, if you prefer inner light, if you wish, inner light, if you wish, already dwells there, already dwells there and by being assumed by this and by being assumed by this the octave of your expression the octave of your expression transitions to it transitions to it and because that is where you abide and because that is where you abide your co-resonant field your co-resonant field which is the alignment you hold which is the alignment you hold calls on to it calls all things to it now because you lift because you lift what you see now because you lift what you see what you see does not mean does not mean you are approving of it. You are approving of it. It means you are knowing it. It means you are knowing it as beyond separation, as beyond separation. The example we often use, Paul. The example we often use through Paul, you cannot lift the evil man to the upper room. You cannot lift the evil man to the upper room because you made him evil, because it is you who have made him evil. Is an illustration, is an illustration of co-resonance, of co-resonance. But the man may be lifted, but the man may be lifted through your knowing of the divine as him through your knowing of the divine as him in spite of his acts in spite of his acts in spite of what he's been claimed as in spite of what he's been claimed as in spite of what he has done in spite of what he has done or been accused of doing or been accused of doing to lift this man to the upper room to lift this man to the upper room is to redeem him is to redeem him and to be redeemed is to be renowned and to be redeemed is to be renowned is to be renowned again the claim again the clay be Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new. All things is the key. All things is the key, not just what is polite, not just what is polite, what you would like to see up there, what you would like to see up there, but all things, but all things. Treachery comes, treachery comes from the small self, through the small self who desires to be special, who desires to be special, who desires a party, who desires a party where some are invited, where only some are invited to have such a party. To have such a party may be useful for your learning, may be useful for your learning, but until you understand, but until you understand that the world is your church, that the world is your church, the world is your temple, the world is your temple, the world is your synagogue, the world is your synagogue, the world is your ashram, the world is your ashram, until you understand, until you understand that you are with your brothers and sisters, that you are with your brothers and sisters, even when they don't appear to be so, even when they don't appear to be so, you will not know the kingdom, you will not know the kingdom. Now he interrupts. Now he interrupts, and we actually assumed he would, and we actually assumed he was he would. We cannot do this, he says. We cannot do this, he says. It is too high an order. It is too high an order. We are human, we are frightened. We are human, we are frightened. We have a hard enough time just get along. We have a hard enough time just let it getting along, let alone loving another, letting let alone loving another, loving another. We will agree with you only in one way. We will agree with you only in one way. The aspect of you that you self-identify through. The aspect of you that you self-identify through in fear or limitation, in fear or limitation, cannot do this, cannot do this, but from the upper room, but from the upper room, the aspect of the divine, the aspect of the divine realizing itself as and through you, realizing itself as and through you can do this can do this and can only do this and can only do this. It is not seeking to be taught. It is not seeking to be taught. It knows the truth already. It knows the truth already. Now, this does not make you the sage. Now, this does not make you the sage, the small self's wisdom. The small self's wisdom is what is not what is not what is accrued here, is not what is accrued here, but in the upper room. But in the upper room, the divine principle, the divine principle of oneness, of oneness is operative, is operative. Do you hear this? Do you hear this in the upper room? In the upper room, the divine principle, the divine principle of oneness, of oneness is operative, is operative and operative. And operative simply means, simply means it is here. It is here as you claim, as you claim I have come. 
I have come, and it becomes your expression, and it becomes your expression because you be, because you be, so you're no longer trying. So you are no longer trying or striving for a spiritual life or striving for a spiritual life. You are aligning to it. You are aligning to it. You will not align to it. You will not align to it through the old rules through the old rules of better behavior, of better behavior. Better behavior is fine. Better behavior is fine. We think it's a fine thing. We think it's a fine thing that you hold the door for another, that you hold the door for another. It is an act of agreement to their worth. It is an act of agreement to their worth, and it has meaning, and it has meaning. But better behavior also means, but better behavior may also mean I will not speak what I feel. I will not speak what I feel. I will not share what I know. I will not share what I know. It might upset others. It might upset others to become the true self. To become the true self is to unfold as it is to unfold is. You are pulling away at the mask you've worn. You are not pulling away at the mask you've worn. It is falling away. It is falling away because the light you now are, because the light that you now are must shine, must shine all that withholds it, and all that withholds it, all that denies it, all that denies it will be released will be released. We will say this for Paul. We will say this for Paul when we speak of the mask you wear. When we speak of the mask you wear, we are speaking of a disguise. We are speaking of a disguise. The costume party you attend here. The costume party you attend here. The idea of self. The idea of self. The missionary. The missionary and the one needing to be saved and the one needing to be saved are ideas of self. Are ideas of self and nothing more and nothing more. The ballerina and the soldier. The ballerina and the soldier, the peacemaker, the peacemaker and the one who causes alarm and the one who causes alarm are all ways of being known, are all ways of being known. There are aspects of self playing out. They are aspects of self playing out and on their own unfoldment, in their own unfoldment when you mistake them, but you mistake them and you mistake others for them as well, and you mistake others for them as well. They are not who you are. They are not who you are. They are the things you have done. They are the things that you have done to join the masquerade, to join the masquerade when you go to the upper room. When you go to the upper room, we may still work as a school principal. You may still work as a school principal. You still may work. You still may work as a chef. As a chef, you may work as anything. You may work as any. Thing. You may be in a female body or a male. You may be in a female body or a male. You prefer men. You may prefer men to women. You may prefer men to women or women to men or women to men. It really matters not. It really matters not. The divine self, the divine self in its expression, in its expression assumes these aspects of self, assumes these aspects of the self. So the divine who shows up. So it is the divine who shows up as the principle of the chef, as the principle or the chef. It is the divine who shows up. It is the divine who shows up as the mother, as the mother, as the soldier, as the soldier, as the ballerina, as the ballerina, or the one who creates alarm, or the one who creates alarm, because the divine has come as you, because the divine has come as you, it meets itself, it meets itself in all ways, in all ways, the divine witnesses the divine, the divine witnesses the divine in all manifestation, in all manifestation, or line all underline all when we teach you grace. When we teach you grace, we speak of abiding in a light. We speak of abiding in a light that is always present, that is always present, even when it appears to be gone, even when it appears to be gone. You have day and night. You have day and night, but you don't question whether the sun rises, but you don't question whether the sun rises. You have rainy days and clear ones. You have rainy days and clear ones, but you're not alarmed, but you are not alarmed or believe or believe that the rain will never stop, that the rain will never stop. You know that it will. You know that it will. And the rain itself, and the rain itself allows the new growth, allows the new growth that it will claim, that it will claim through its gift, through its gift to the manifest plane, to the manifest plane, the bright light, the bright light shines upon all, shines upon all, and the darkness allows for rest, and the darkness allows for rest, but the light is still shining, but the light is still shining, even when it's not seen, even when it is not seen, to abide in grace. 
to abide in grace is not effortful, is not effortful. It is alignment. It is alignment. This does not mean you don't have challenge. This does not mean you don't have challenge. A sick child, a sick child, an issue at your job, an issue at your job. It does not mean your health will always be perfect. It does not mean your health will always be perfect. You come in a body. You come in a body with the expectation, with the expectation that a time will come, that a time will come with a certain purpose when it will have served its purpose. You may move on and get another, and you may move on and get another and get another. You incarnate as long as you have things to learn. You incarnate as long as you have things to learn or things that you may add others in or things that you may aid others in to be the divine self. To be the divine self in its agreement to be manifested, in its agreement to be made manifest is not only the act of the mystic, is not only the act of the mystic, and this is a teaching for the mystic, and this is a teaching for the mystic, not the follower, not the follower. We do not want followers. We do not want followers. We want the light. We want the light that you indeed are, that you indeed are to shine and illumine you, to shine and illumine you, so that you may illumine the world. You have come, you have come, you have come, you have come. You have come, you have come, as you say yes to us, as you say yes to us, as you agree to this yes, as you agree to this yes, as you align to this yes, as you align to this yes, you stop saying what should be. You stop saying what should be, what should do this, the government should do this, the church should do that, the church should do that, business should do this or that, business should do this or that, it really matters not what you wish, it really matters not what you wish, because you will lift to a level, because you will lift to a level, and you're very active, meaning that your very act of being will actually reconcile, will actually reconcile what has been placed in darkness, what has been placed in darkness to the divine light, to the divine light that is as all things, that is as all things when we return. When we return after questions, yes, after questions, yes, we will go to the upper room with you. We will go to the upper room with you and we will lift the world and we will lift the world. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. Paul, take three or four minutes. Paul, take three or four minutes. Stop now, please. We have several things to talk about. The first is what you think you are. The first is what you think you are. The manifest self, the manifest self. Now the divine as you. Now the divine as you in articulation, in articulation is always present, is always present. But the level of manifestation, but the level of manifestation or coherence with its nature or coherence with its true nature is less available, is less available in the dense plane, in the dense plane that you've incarnated in, that you have incarnated in, which is why we gift you, which is why we gift you with a very simple process, with a very simple process of manifesting, of manifesting or realizing self or realizing self in and through the upper room, in and through the upper room. To come here, to come here is to know the self as whole, is to know the self as whole, unencumbered, unencumbered, and in agreement, and in agreement to one's true nature, to one's true nature, as we said prior. As we said prior, there is an aspect of self, there is an aspect of self that always abides here, that always abides here. Here's my translating experience. You are simply translating your experience in the body itself and the body itself to a new level of vibration, to a new level of vibration. Now to understand the work of the body. Now to understand the work of the body is to understand cause and effect, is to understand cause and effect. You vibrate, you vibrate at one level or the other, at one level or the other. The level of vibration you vibrate at, the level of vibration you vibrate at claims you, claims you in the experience you know of, in the experience <coughs> that you know of as a life lived as a life live. Now, when you lift in higher vibration, now when you lift in higher vibration, you're not making things pretty. You are not making things pretty or people behave as you wish or people behave as you wish. You are knowing the self. You are knowing the self beyond the old frames, beyond the old frames of vibrational coherence, of vibrational coherence. Of course, you know, of course, you know that the angry man, that the angry man finds things to be angry at, finds things to be angry at, the one who's opinionated, 
the woman whose opinion, the 805 commandment opinion, will find something to have an opinion about. This is the nature, this is the nature of being of being. Well, the one who realizes herself, well, the one who realizes herself in the mantle, in the mantle of the upper room, of the upper room, is holding the key to the kingdom, as holding the key to the kingdom, knows who she is, knows who she is, and her claim of being, and her claim of being, I have come, 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 claims each aspect of her, claims each aspect of her in co-resonance to the kingdom, in co-resonance to the kingdom. Now the upper room is not the kingdom. Now the upper room is not the kingdom, but you can only attend to the kingdom, but you can only attend to the kingdom through the upper room, through the upper room. And of course, we must include the upper room. And of course, we must include the upper room as the kingdom because of this, as the kingdom because of this. For those of you who wish more of an explanation, for those of you who wish more of an explanation, we put it this way, we may put it to you this way. Every octave has low and high notes. Every octave has low and high notes. When you go to the new octave, when you go to the new octave, Octave, you don't land at the top of the scale. You don't land at the top of the scale. You land at the base. You land at the base of the resonant field of the resonant field. And as you lift, and as you lift through the release of the old, through the release of the old, agreement to the new, and agreement to the new, you begin to rise. You begin to rise. The upper room itself, the upper room itself becomes the kingdom becomes the kingdom when you align to it as such, when you align to it as such. Now, who abides in the kingdom? Now, who abides in the kingdom? This is a very interesting question. This is a very interesting question. All do, in fact, all do, in fact, but as the aspect of self, but as the aspect of self that is already realized there, that is already realized there, and align that, please, underline that, please, the aspect of self, the aspect of self that is always realized, that is already as realized as the divine self, as the divine self is who abides in the upper room, is who abides in the upper room, and the process you engage in through these teachings, and the process you engage with through these teachings, re-articulation, re-articulation is moving all aspects of self, is moving all aspects of self into coherence there, into coherence there. Now, who lives in the kingdom? Now, who lives in the kingdom in manifestation? In manifestation, that's a rather different question. That's a rather different question. Who embodies at that level? Who embodies at that level at different times you all may? At different times you all may. When you are in a crucible, when you are in a crucible, when you experience grace, when you experience grace, you're in the upper room, you are in the upper room in manifestation, in manifestation to align to the upper room, to align to the upper room through the release of the old, through the release of the old, supports you in maintaining, supports you in maintaining the level of coherence, the level of coherence as long as you know, as long as you know when something claims you lower, when something claims you lower, it is actually teaching you, it is actually teaching you what to learn through, what you need to learn through. Now, who gets up to the upper room? Now, who gets lifted to the upper room or claimed in the upper room or claimed in the upper room by one who abides there, by one who abides there? In fact, everybody, in fact, everybody and everything you encounter and everything you encounter. A young man yesterday, a young man yesterday claimed the, claimed the word, claimed the word through all who were here, through all who were here. He did this without an investment outcome. He did this without an investment in outcome because who he was, because because who he was, was the incarnation of it, was the incarnation of it, not through effort, not through effort, but by decree, but by decree, and the decree we offer you, and the decree we offer you, I know who I am in truth, I know who I am in truth, I know what I am in truth, I know what I am in truth, I know how I serve truth, I know how I serve in truth, it's not a claim of the personality, is not a claim of the personality, or for the personality, or for the personalities of others others. You come to a place, you come to a place in these teachings, in these teachings that simply being, that simply being becomes the act of God, becomes the act of God knowing itself, knowing itself. Now you are not walking around. Now you are not walking around saying, look at me, I am God, I am God. In fact, you are. In fact, you are, as is everyone, as is everyone, but you are not making it rain. 
but you are not making it rain or making the world spin or making the world spin upon its axis, upon its axis. You are of God. You are of God, an expression of God and expression of God. Paul interrupts with a question. Paul interrupts with a question. You used to say, you used to say, you do not become the Christ. You do not become the Christ. The Christ becomes you. The Christ becomes you. That is still true. Yes, that is still true. Yes, or we will express However, we will express that when you when you hold dominion, that when you hold dominion or claim of truth in the upper room, or claim of truth in the upper room, you begin to operate in accord. You begin to operate in accord, not separate from, not separate from. You have invested differently. You have invested differently in the process of articulation. In the process of articulation, you become the one thing. You become the one thing as you are, as you are, that has always been, that has always been, will ever be so and will ever be so. The divine that is and was, the divine that is and was and was and is to come and is to come, known and expressed, known and expressed through the unique vessel, through the unique vessel that is each one of you, that is each one of you and all in fact, and all in fact who say yes to it, who say yes to it. Now, when you look another from Now, when you lift another to the upper room, you're not dragging them by the hair. You are not dragging them by the hair. You're not beseeching them to come. You are not beseeching them to come. You are seeing them in the upper room. You are seeing them in the upper room, lifting them, lifting them, knowing them, knowing them. And this means, and this means you are knowing the aspect of them. You are knowing the aspect of them that always expresses there, that always expresses there. We will say this for you now. We will say this for you now. See if you feel the energy shift. See if you feel the energy shift. We know your truth. We know who you are in truth. We know what you are in truth. We know how you serve in truth. You are free. You are free. You are free. We see you in the upper room. You are in the upper room. Say this now if you wish. Say this now if you wish. I am in the upper room. I am in the upper room. Say this, yes. Say this, yes. And if you notice the energy shifting, feeling as if it is lifting around you, feeling as if it is lifting around you, that is the way to understand. That is the way to understand that the action taken, that the action taken to express in a higher way, to express in a higher way is not only available, is not only available, can it be known, but can and will be known now from the upper room. Now from the upper room, you may claim anyone. You may claim anyone. You are not pulling them up. You are not pulling them up, telling them what they should be there, telling them what they should be there. You're not getting them to stop drinking. You are not getting them to stop drinking, stop beating the children, stop beating their children, stop denying the new pay, stop denying you the new pay, the new pay for the higher ranking, for the higher ranking at your employment, at your employment. You are simply knowing, you are simply knowing, underline no, underline no, which means realize, which means realize who they are in truth, who they are in truth, what they are in truth, what they are in truth and how they serve in truth and how they serve in truth. Choose one person now. Choose one person now in the life you live now, in the life you live now, what you felt discord with, that you have felt discord with or perhaps feel it now or perhaps feel it now. You are going to see them before you. You are going to see them before you just as they are, just as they are. And you may claim these words for them if you wish. And you may claim these words for them if you wish. I see see you in your beauty. I see you in your right to be. I see you in your right to be. In all you have known and may know. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. I know how you serve in truth. I see you in the upper room. You are free, you are free, you are free. You are free, you are free, you are free. You are in the upper room. If you feel your own vibration shifting, you're releasing the old. You are releasing the old, that which held you active, that which held you to the lower octave by denying them the divine, by denying them the divine that is also their birthright, that is also their birthright. Do not deny the divine in others. Do not 
deny the divine in others, be it a politician, be it a politician, be it someone in commerce, be it someone in commerce, be it someone who has been vilified, be it someone who has been vilified, know the divine with them, know the divine with them in spite of appearance, in spite of appearance, be the one who brings the light, be the one who brings the light, not decrees the darkness, not decrees the darkness. You no longer hang people in the town square. You no longer hang people in the town square or say you do not, or say you do not, but you do hold them in darkness, but you do hold them in darkness to be the light. To be the light means to say that the light can be present, means to say that the light can be present, not only as in you, not only as in you, but in all you may meet, but in all you may meet, and in those you may never meet, and in those you may never meet, period, 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 period. Blessings to each of you. They're saying blessings to each of you. Go to questions, please.